Hello, grade nines, and welcome to Supply and Demand 5. In this lesson, we'll conclude our examination of elastic and inelastic demand and price sensitivity. Today's lesson will focus on elastic demand, and we need to finish the lesson by understanding what price elasticity is and be able to recognize a perfectly elastic demand on a graph. If you think back to our first lesson on elasticity, we talked about how even in regular life, an elastic band or elastic, it's very stretchy. And in economics, we tend to think of it as being easy to change or adapt to a new situation. With regards to supply and demand, an elastic demand is going to be highly price sensitive. So even the slightest increase in price might cause somebody to go somewhere else and look for a different product. Think for a moment, pause the video, and determine what types of products might be highly price sensitive. There are two things we want to look at when we think about products that are price sensitive. The first is substitution. In the previous lesson, we looked at substitution. And substitution, of course, is when we can replace one type of product with another because it's easy to get, it's about the same price, and it's hard to see the difference between the two types of products. Salt is a really easy example of this, or washing powder. There's also something we need to consider, and that is affordability, especially in South Africa, where people's incomes don't tend to increase much, Things like school fees, which increase perhaps by 8 or 10% a year, suddenly start making certain products like schools unaffordable. And parents need to go and look somewhere else because they've reached a price ceiling or a place they can't move beyond in terms of a price increase. So to recap, products that are price sensitive are either very, very easy to replace or substitute or they might reach a point where people cannot pay anymore, sometimes called a price ceiling. Let's continue our discussion now by putting these situations on a graph. If I draw my graph of supply and demand, where again I've got the price of something on one axis and how much is being provided on the other axis, and I drew the demand for school fees at a certain level. Let's say, for argument's sake, the school fee level is similar to Holy Family College at about 60,000 Rand a year. If my demand graph looks like this, a perfectly horizontal line, this shows us that the product is very, very price sensitive. Let's try to understand this a little bit better. One more time, a horizontal line of demand is the elastic demand graph. It means that something is extremely price sensitive. If we go above this line to where prices are higher, it's just simply too high for parents to afford the, a different type of school. If we were to go down on the price schedule, it means if we have a situation like this, that either the parents aren't willing to downgrade the school because the quality is too low, or it could mean that a school that is trying to offer quality education isn't willing to charge such a low price because they can't make ends meet and would go bankrupt. So to recap, elastic demand and its graph shows a situation where the price is almost constant. If the price were to go up, people would stop enrolling in a school or stop buying a certain product. If the price were to go down, it would mean that for whatever reason, the product on offer couldn't be offered at that price or it'd be such a terrible quality that people would not be interested in buying it. I hope this helps. Take time, review all the videos in this series and make sure you're familiar with inelastic demand elastic demand, and substitution, as these are very important concepts 
that you're going to need to understand going forward with your understanding of economics.